Hi, in this video, I'm going to briefly introduce you to the Speedtree 8 modeler for Unity and show you how to export your mesh asset from the modeler into Unity. I'm going to start by quickly checking a couple of things on this model just to make sure it's ready to export. So first, I'll check my wind settings to make sure it looks all right. You can access these properties by right-clicking on the fan icon and clicking Enable. I have already tuned the wind for this model with the Unity Wind algorithm and set the preset to best. Okay, that's looking good. Next, I'm going to check the level detail transition for this model. To do this, click the global properties and scroll down to the dynamic LOD group. In order for the LODs to be included in the export, the dynamic LODs checkbox needs to be enabled. I'll check my LOD transition by scrubbing up and down the LOD bar. As you can see on the upper left-hand corner of the viewport, it displays the triangle count of my model at various LOD levels. Now, if you want to alter the amount of leaves, fronds, branches, or decorations that stay or are removed on the model, you can just hand edit these blue curves over here. The right-hand point of this curve sets the percentage of the geometry that remains as the LOD level changes. Now that is all done, I can export my model. So go to File and select Export to Unity 3D. Then select your location, which is the Unity project folder for me, and the file name. And then hit Save. By default, the settings are automatically set up to correctly import into Unity. But there are a variety of options that allows you to customize the exportation of your Speedtree asset. I want to make sure I have LODs and billboards and that all my non-wrapping materials are at list. Once my preferences are set, I just hit OK. You'll see a progress bar appear, letting you know how far along the export process is. I'm going to open the folder I saved my file in, and here's my exported model with the ST file format and its textures, atlases, and billboards. To save time, I already have Unity open. You'll notice that because I saved in my project's asset folder, my exported model shall automatically import and load in the project window. A pop-up window should appear saying that a texture is being used as a normal map and ask you if you want to mark it as a normal map, which I do. So I click Fix Now. For demoing purposes, I'm just going to drag and drop this B-Tree model into a blank Unity scene. And here it is. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to set up a tree to be one draw call, which is best to use as background and filler trees since there will be a slight loss of resolution. So the first thing you need to do is go to the UV mapping group and change your UV mapping style to all your trunk and branches to U locked V unrestricted. You want to make sure that it's set to tile once or twice only. Next, you need to change the model's wind preset to fastest. So for this palm, I change from palm to fastest. When exporting the model, you want to make sure that in the export settings in the Atlas group, you select everything and that allow V wrapping is enabled. Then click OK. As I open the file browser, you'll notice that instead of having my barks as separate textures, everything is condensed into one atlas. And there's my bark in the atlas. I'm going to quickly import my tree into Unity just to show you how it looks. And here's our one draw call model. Well, that is it for this video, and thank you for watching.